Are you a little skeptical when it comes to getting dental x-rays? My name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about dental x-rays. Lots of people wonder how much radiation they are exposed to when it comes to dental x-rays, which can make patients super nervous and even inclined to refuse dental x-rays. And we'll get to that. However, first, it's important to know that radiation concern is not the only reason patients may try to decline or refuse dental x-rays. It can also be due to financial concerns or or comfort concerns, which I totally understand both of those. If it is a financial concern, you may want to confirm that your insurance is in fact covering the routine x-rays, totally understandable. Check with your insurance company and see what the frequency is that they cover x-rays at and go from there. If it's due to feeling uncomfortable, like you feel like you're gagging when you have x-rays taken, again, totally get that. The best thing to do for that is to be open and tell your dentist or your hygienist or the assistant, whoever's taking your x-rays, so then they know ahead of time that you are prone to gagging and they can do their best to accommodate you and make you more comfortable. There are things we can do on our end to make it a little easier for you. And I also have a video all about the tips and tricks for the patient, you, to try when you're taking dental x-rays, which I will link that video in the bottom bar below. Truly, I've had a countless number of my personal patients tell me like, wow, that trick actually really helped. I never knew about that before. It is so cool seeing your patients that have been struggling not struggle anymore because they used a few tips and tricks. So check Check out this video, really consider it. Now, for the purpose of this video, we will talk about radiation concerns. Let's start with the acronym ALARA, as low as reasonably achievable. It's the standard for radiation exposure. With ALARA, every precaution is taken, which means we only take x-rays when the benefits outweigh the risks. Having said that, the reason we take dental x-rays is to show us what is not visible clinically to our eyes. So when it comes to the bone and the structures underneath your gums and in between your teeth, X-rays are a crucial part of your dental exam. We do have reason to say that the benefits outweigh the risks when taking dental x-rays, because if you were to skip your dental x-rays, you could essentially be in the dark when it comes to tooth decay, gum disease, bone loss, cysts, abscess teeth, leaky dental work, and the list goes on. By the time those conditions are visible clinically to the naked eye, they're usually way worse and even more expensive to treat than they would have been if we saw them earlier with the x-ray. I hope that makes sense when I say it because it's important. Like I said, we can often see things on an x-ray that we could not see when we're looking in your mouth clinically. X-rays allow you to fix things when they're small. Instead of waiting for it to become a huge busted tooth where it might not even be easily fixable anymore or fixable at all. X-rays help us treat compromised teeth before they get too bad. Back in the day, people just had their teeth pulled when they started hurting. Nowadays, with our X-ray technology, we can fix teeth before they get so bad that they're unfixable and before they have to be pulled when that's the only answer. And here's the thing, today's digital X-rays give off less radiation than the old school traditional film X-rays. With our digital X-rays, it is possible to take a full mouth series of images, which is between 18 and 22 photos and you will be exposed to less radiation than you would be exposed to if you were on an airplane flight from California to New York or even from eating certain foods. In fact, a single tooth x-ray is equivalent to the radiation you would get from eating two bananas. Yes, bananas are radioactive and so are a lot of other foods, but that goes for everything in life. Even walking outside in the sun gives you radiation, sleeping next to someone gives you radiation, living in a brick house, etc. So taking all of this into consideration, dental x-rays are actually one of the lowest radiation exposures in our daily lives. I have a whole radiation chart on my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're interested in seeing more of the comparisons, I will link that below. Digital x-rays are technically safer than the background radiation that you're exposed to on a daily basis. It's pretty interesting. So in conclusion, digital dental x-rays are super low in radiation. And even with that in mind, dental professionals still follow Alara, so you don't get exposed to more than you need. If you still have concerns because of thyroid issues or something to that extent, always make sure the dental office provides you with an apron that has a thyroid collar. That will shield your thyroid area from any scatter radiation. If you are someone who is like, okay, radiation, fine, no big deal, but still can't afford them, just think about them as an oil change on your car. I know a lot of dentists that use this analogy. When you take your car into the shop for maintenance, it's cheaper to get routine oil changes than to wait years and years and years and only take it in when something breaks unexpectedly, right? And another car analogy that I've heard of is, do you tell the mechanic that he cannot lift the hood of the car to see what's inside? That's asking your mechanic to only 
only look at the outside of the car and see if it's running properly. That analogy is just so similar to dental patients when they ask the dentist to not take x-rays, but to make sure that nothing's wrong with any of the teeth. You can't know anything for sure without looking underneath aka taking x-rays. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. In the bottom bar below, I'll be linking my teethtalkgirl.com radiation comparison chart if you want to learn more. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth.